Charged objects attract or repel with a force F that is directly proportional to the quantity of charge, Q1 or Q2, on either of the objects, and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the object centers. This relationship is known as Coulomb's Law. To say that the force F and the quantity of charge Q are directly proportional means that an increase in a Q value would increase the F value, and a decrease in the Q value would decrease the F value. But it also means that the factor by which a Q is changed is equal to the factor by which the F is changed. For instance, if Q1 is double, then F is doubled as well. And if Q1 is tripled, F is tripled. If Q1 is half, then F is half. If both Q1 and Q1 are changed, then F must be changed twice, once for each Q change. In example one, the Q1 value is tripled and the Q2 value is halved. To determine the new force, take the original force of 32 units and triple it for the Q1 change and half it for the Q2 change. The new force is 48 units. To say that the force F is inversely proportional to the square of the distance D means that an increase in D results in a decrease in F, and a decrease in D results in an increase in F. But it also means that the factor by which the F is decreased is the square of the factor by which the D is increased. For instance, if the distance is double, then the force is decreased by a factor of four. 2 squared. And if the distance is tripled, then the force is decreased by a factor of 9, 3 squared. And if the distance is halved, made 2 times smaller, then the force is increased by a factor of 4. In example 2, the value of d is changed to one third of the original value. Since d decreases by a factor of 3, f is increased by a factor of 9. So to determine the new force, take the original force of 32 units and multiply it by 9. In example 3, q1, q2, and d are all changed. So the original force of 32 units must be changed three times, once for each variable change. Since the q1 is quadrupled, the force must be multiplied by 4. And since q2 is tripled, the force must be multiplied by 3. And since the d is doubled, the force must be divided by 4. Use your calculator to determine the new force to be 96 units. I'm Mr. H, letting you know that you got this.